In this video I'm going to do a comparison from the operator's perspective of my 1984 Bolens HDT-1000 compared to my 1973 Bolens HT-18. So the biggest thing that I notice, and I think most people would notice other than the sound, is the power steering of the diesel. That helps immensely with, with um, a load in the bucket, whereas the HT-18 with its manual steering you feel that that weight of the steering as soon as you start to put a, a heavy load in the bucket the steering becomes harder to turn so what that means is you need to be moving a little bit or plan ahead um, it's not that's undoable by any means it just makes you work a little bit harder and from the enthusiast's perspective it can actually be kind of fun too it makes you feel like you're you're more involved with the machine and you're you're working it and um, it's it's fun in, in its own way Second thing is the transmission operation between the two. There's quite a bit difference, quite a bit of difference between the two. So the Eaton 11 in this one, of course, has the high and low range, but that aside, the Sunstrand 15 um, is still quite a bit different, especially through the pedal. So the HT18, that Sunstrand, it it makes it feel like a go-kart. It, it just wants to go fast. As soon as you press that pedal down, I mean, it just has a feeling of it wants to go, it wants to go fast, it wants to be, like I said, and dare I say, driven like a go-kart. You just kind of whip around on it, you press reverse, and it goes fast in reverse, it goes fast forward. This one, on the other hand, you could put just about anyone who's never driven a tractor before, and they're not going to be scared or feel like it gets away from you. So to give you a, a more detailed comparison when you press that pedal on this one if you're to stab the pedal on this one at a complete stop you could break the tire you could you could chirp the tires whereas this one you stab the pedal in higher low range it's not going to chirp the tires it's very it's got a very soft bottom end we'll say on the pedal feel of this one it, it's smooth to get going so what that also means is I found if you're doing really slow precise work say around a a wall or, or a building you don't want to hit the building or something like that you just want to go really slow it makes it easier to do that because it's it's easier to modulate the the speed because the, the bottom end of the pedal feel on this it's it's so much so much softer and whereas this one um, it's it, it just wants to go you could say that it would be nice almost if it had a low range feature just to make it slower in the bottom end, um, but it's it's doable. Now the Eaton 12 and the earlier models I had in 1886, and that one was was slower, but it also felt like it had like this one does from the from the throttle tip in at the very point that you press the pedal. It felt like it it wanted to go. It felt like it had a lot of torque. This one is is definitely faster than the Eaton 12. At least that felt to me. But the Eaton 12 was um, was slower, but kind of similar feel when you first press the pedal. I'll also say that you don't feel pressure in the pedal when there's a load put on the transmission on the Sunstrand 15 that you feel with the Eaton 11 and 12 models. So if you're plowing or pulling roots or weeds, whatever, with the with an Eaton model, as soon as a load is placed on the transmission, you feel it in the pedal. The pedal will become stiffer, and so usually if you press the pedal harder when it becomes stiffer, that oftentimes it will break the tires loose, and so you kind of can plan ahead. You'll kind of know when the tires are going to break loose. You can modulate it, whereas this one, it's a continuous feel all the way through. If you, Even when a heavy load's placed on it, the pedal does not become stiffer. So I found in a few cases I'll already be spinning the tires and I didn't even know it right away just because I didn't feel any change in the pedal. Whereas this one, you do always, you do usually feel before the tires are going to break loose in many instances. Um, and the sound of the transmission too will also change. You f you'll hear a load be placed on it, whereas this one you don't hear that so much. Second thing is, um, so the loaders, they both work great. The J14 of the HT18 sticks out 
a little bit further so I have the front axles lined up just about equal on both machines but the bucket them itself extends out of a little bit further so what that means is if you're loading up say a pickup or a trailer and you want to get that load centered directly in the in the middle you can do that a little bit easier and not have to worry about the front of the hood hitting the either the truck or if it's a dump trailer or something like that you don't have to worry about that as much I've loaded quite a bit um, of trailers and pickups and stuff with this one and I do find myself having to be careful that I don't hit the side of the truck or trailer at the front of the hood because the the bucket sits in further on the flip side I mean it's it's more compact so if you're not using the the loader it's nicer to have it tucked in more you don't have to worry about hitting things quite as much and it's a little easier to store I suppose but that's one difference between the two otherwise I mean they both work great I love the always have loved the operation of the J14 including the one I had on my other one they they work great they're very smooth um, I do think that the CTC could definitely lift more it feels like a more head more powerful loader but they they both work great yeah no complaints between the two um, last thing that I'll, I'll mention surprisingly is the seating position feels quite a bit different and a big part of that of course is probably because I have the taller tires but on this one you feel like you sit on top of or over the machine that's what you look at so you look over the hood on this one whereas the HT18 you feel like you sit more in the machine and the seating position of the HT18 is a fair amount further back I have it all the way up to the closest slot to the steering wheel and it's still quite a bit further back I prefer the seating position of this one more um, this one it's got your arms stretched out and everything I don't know you, you get used to it but I just prefer the ergonomics of this one more both are very fun um, they're both quite a bit different they're both large frames of course but to me getting on and off the two I mean they couldn't feel any any more different they're they're very different all the way from the sound of course to the operation of the transmission which to me is a is a huge difference you'd have to compare the two but um, quite a bit different and they're both very enjoy enjoyable in their own regards for sure so thanks for watching